Drawing straight line graphs. Um, surprisingly, how uh, although this is only a grade D question, level six, how difficult people find this. Um, even higher grade students I have, um, when they're just given a straight line, a graph to draw, often can't, don't know how to start it. So, sort of classic way of doing this would be to draw a table where you work out some coordinates. So, certainly if you were given this in a textbook, you'd be given sort of zero, we're going from minus two to three, so one, two, three. We don't really need the negative numbers, but just for completeness, we'll put them in. And so we take the values, different values of x, work out the corresponding value of y, the y that goes with those x's because of this equation, and then we can plot them, and they should be a nice straight line. So if we have x equal to zero, so I'm going to start with that, so four lots of zero is zero, take away two, it's going to be minus two. Um, if x equals one, four lots of one is four, take away two is two. If x equals 2, 4 lots of 2 is 8, take away 2 is 6. And 4 lots of x when x is 3, 4 lots of 3 is 12, take away 2 is 10. I could carry that on, um, I could work out this, 4 lots of minus 1, take away 2 is minus 6, or I could see there's a pattern here, it's going down by 4, and I can just put in the last one. So let's plot some of those values, minus 2, 10, very conveniently just fits on there. And then it's going up by 4 each time, so minus 1, minus 6, 0, minus 2, um, 1 and 2, 2 and 6, and 3 and 10. Now, and also another thing people do is forget to draw a line through them. When you finish drawing, uh, plotting the points, you, you've got to draw a straight line through your values. So um, get your ruler out. Um, this is going to be quite tricky for me to do, but let's uh, try and get it right. So let's put that on the end there. Let's spin that around until it matches those points, pretty much. Let's go up a little bit, okay. And then we can draw a line on there. I'm going to do it in green. A line that goes through those points. And just remove the ruler just so we can see clearly what we've done. So we've got a straight line. You shouldn't uh, stop at the last point, although these points do go to the edge. Sometimes people just do a few points and then just draw a little line between them. You really should draw your line from one side to the other through the points. Um, three marks there, so um, obviously if you've got the correct line through some points, then you will get three marks. You don't actually need the points drawn. You could just have the straight line. If it's in the correct place, you should get all three marks. Um, if you've got a table of values or you've calculated some values, if you get at least two correct values of y from a value of x, that will give you one method mark. And then if you've plotted some points from your what you've calculated, if you've plotted two of the points you've calculated, there's another method mark. And obviously one for finishing it off and getting the straight line. You should always do more than two points though, because if you make one mistake, two points could draw any line, but three points you can see if they're a nice straight line. 